Well, hi there. This is uh, Chase Swift, and this is my Apple Mac How To channel. In this video, I'm going to cover how to screen share on a Mac, and it's a, a really actually great feature. It's very easy to do, and uh, I love showing it too. So let's get to it. Now, it takes me just a moment to uh, share my screen, and I'm going to share my entire screen so you can see everything. So give me a second. There we go. And now you should see my screen. I'm going to minimize my browser because it gets a little uh, wonky there. So um, what you're seeing right now is my desktop. So the way to start, there's actually a couple of ways to start a screen sharing. But one of the ways is to actually get to the Finder. And under the Go menu, uh, and I'm running uh, the latest operating system is Yosemite that I have. So it's pretty much the same uh, for most computers, but when you go down to network under the get go menu, it will show you the available computers on your network, uh, generally in your same, like in your home, okay? And so I have an iMac that's on this network and uh, I, it's really not hard. It should recognize, but if it doesn't, you can just log in as the admin on that computer through this screen right here. Okay, so I've already done that. And as you can see, it's recognizing some of my uh, files, but I'm just gonna click right here to share the screen. And voila, this is a, a 27 inch iMac, whoops, uh, computer just uh, in the same room. Okay, so I'll close the uh, finder window. The other way to do it is, is a lot of times you may see it under the shared icon here uh it it may well a lot of times your computer will show up under shared okay so there's another way to access it you can also access files and things like that i'm going to go ahead and close that so there's some important things i want to share about this number one you can resize the window and it'll stay proportional the whole time so if you need to move it out of the way or not see uh, all of it, you know, just you can resize it and move it wherever you need to. Okay. Now let's zoom it back up so I can uh, show you more. Now I have found one really, well, I've determined that there's one really, I think really good idea to screen share. Why, why would you need to? Well, that is to maybe you have children and you want to see maybe what they're doing or maybe they're supposed to be doing their homework. Okay. So under the, um, view mode in screen sharing. So I'm screen sharing this uh, iMac, it's a 27 inch, and you can go to observe mode. And that way your mouse is not gonna override the mouse of the iMac. And you can watch what's happening and you can keep a close eye, so to speak, and you can even resize it uh, down uh, just so you can see maybe your kids are doing their homework or maybe they've been messing around and uh, they're on YouTube or something like that. So you could see that. Uh, and then if you mouse over, you're not going to uh, take control of their screen. Now, the other way, if you do need to control somebody's uh, screen and their mouse, just switch to control mode. That's a really easy, quick way to switch them back and forth. And by the way, there's also away if you forget these you can go to show the toolbar and you can also customize the toolbar i'll first choose show the toolbar you got some very simple things whether you want to control the mouse or whether you want to just be in a observation mode so you have those two clicks and then you can scale it and then also you can copy the clipboard and things like that um, that's fairly self-explanatory, but for the, for the most part, I think you just want to be able to see and uh, handle and control another Mac. So with the control function on, uh, now I can go to anywhere on the uh, iMac. That's another computer, of course. So I can go to the preferences and I can change the preferences. I could change the background, uh, you know, image and all that. So that's really quick and easy uh, and i this could be you know in the other room or halfway or right next to you it doesn't matter and so you can control everything as if you were literally at that computer okay so i'll go, 
go ahead and close the system preferences. And if you were, say, uh, wanted to preview an image, you can just hit uh, preview and that image will load. Uh, preview is just clicking the uh, or pressing the space bar on a selected file. So that works wonderfully. Uh, you have access to the hard drive. And uh, everything that you need to see is right at your fingertip, fingertips. Here's all the applications that are coming up. And uh, if these are a little too slow, small, you can change to icon view. And then in the bottom right of the window, you can increase the scale or the size of the icons. And then you can even uh, change the finder window and make it larger so you can see. Uh, this is indicative of the fact that I have a 27 inch iMac um, that I'm sharing my screen with. So uh, there's a lot of information to share and show. So uh, changing the view would be very important to do. Uh, of course, you can go to your desktop and see all those files there. You look at your movies. Everything that you normally do is available uh, through screen sharing. And uh, you're seeing all these images. They're coming through my wireless uh, internet in the house, and it's really quite fast, okay? So between uh, the control that you have, uh, you can control the mouse and control the screen, or you can observe, okay? And also, one last thing I'll say, if you wanna take a screenshot or you have a, a question, uh, let's see, where was that? Do, do, do. Yeah, right here. Under connection is you can take a screenshot if you maybe you have a problem or a question or whatever, and or maybe your kids are messing around, you want to have proof. Okay, so you can just click save screen capture as. And what this will do will save it to your desktop. Okay, you can take a picture of their screen and put it on your computer. So I'll go ahead and click save and it says screen sharing picture and then the date. So I'll just save that. Now, when you're done, you can just go under screen sharing down to quit and then you'll just go back to normal. If I bring up my uh, finder, I will find that file under, <clears throat> I go, I have a today uh, listing and I can see all my uh, files. And as you can see, I have a screenshot. Okay. I'm not, sharing anymore, but there's a screenshot and I could double click that. And there is the screenshot of the other computer when I was screen sharing it. So that's a pretty handy feature, okay? So uh, those are the basic uh, how to, how to connect, how to take a screenshot. And uh, really I, I enjoy helping people and I will close out by saying if, if you've ever wondered how to use your Mac, uh, I, that's one thing I specialize. I, I, I actually am an entrepreneur. I work out of my home. Um, I help people make money so that they can afford to buy nice computers. I, I do this all from my home. So if you've ever been interested in learning uh, more about that, I'd be glad to uh, help you and instruct you. Um, there will be probably a link or a, a button you can find out more about me. You'll be able to connect with me. We might be able to Skype or phone call or anything like that, or even do a FaceTime uh, with the Mac. But uh, anyway, I, I, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you helped. I, I hope it helped you with your screen sharing on your Mac. And look forward to other videos in the very near future. And have a great day. Bye for now.